Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Let me catch you up on this project here. Started out as what I call a hog splitter. It's actually going to be used as a two-handed machete or hatchet type device for chopping brush and things like that. This is the blade and handle length requested by my client. The width of the blade is what I was able to make with the amount of steel we had in our pattern welded steel billet. If you remember and if you haven't watched the first two, make sure to do that. The other consideration is you don't want something that's going to be so heavy uh, that it's going to be you know prohibitive to actually pack around a hog an actual hog splitter is not something that's made to be packed around in the brush or anywhere else for that matter and so there's some different design characteristics that we have to take into account anyway the last thing that i did on this was heat treat it and if you recall i ran out of oxygen for my propane oxygen torch which i use for uh tempering and different things like that what i can't use the kiln and this does fit in the forge obviously but it's much too difficult to control the heat on these different uh, dimensions and stuff like that and get a consistent um, precise temper. I was able to use a little propane torch which is not ideal, does not put out enough heat. You kind of have to hold the heat on there a long time and that's easy to kind of get more heat overall than you actually expect which seems counterintuitive but because you have to hold that heat on there it just, it just doesn't work very well. So I got a temper on it and it's mostly good, but there's a couple of spots that just got a little bit too hot, which means it's gonna be a little bit softer than I would like. I think it would perform just fine like it is, but I am being a stickler about it, which means I'm gonna go ahead and reheat it. Which means I'm gonna go ahead and reheat treat. Which means I'm gonna go ahead and reheat treat the blade. Okay, so what you saw me doing there with the water droplets is using water as an indication of how hot this is, approximately, but pretty closely. So when the water droplet just bounces off of the steel, it's hot enough to do that. We're looking at about 350 to up to maybe 400 degrees. And I have to say I'm really happy with how the temper came out on this, on this blade here. Um, along the edge here, so there's some discoloring here that's not uh, tempering colors something that happened immediately when I got the torch on it so I don't know just some atmospheric thing but along the edge here uh, you really don't see any color I started to see the faintest the faintest um, tinge of um, lightest straw color you know but barely barely that and so that's really good and so we're looking at about like you know 350 degrees something like that for the temper on this with the combination of 1045 and the 15 and 20, that should be great. Uh, so, really happy with that, and that part's great. There's only one thing else that concerns me with the heat treat on this, and that is that. I've only, I've only hardened it back up into here, and that leaves the rest of this just in a perlitic state, which means it's not tempered martin site and it's not stiff and I am concerned that when somebody goes to whacking and chopping on something with this that it could bend and that's not good enough 
for the tool that I'm making here. So I'm going to reheat treat this for the fourth time. moment of truth I've got this reheat treated tempered I tempered the handle out a little more than the blade of course all right much better it's got some spring to the handle but it doesn't bend okay okay I think we have finally arrived at the point where I can actually grind the blade
Well, I'm really happy with how this performed. There is no edge deformation. Uh, it still has the same, feels the same as it did before I started. I didn't have a super sharp, but you could get it through paper and um, it hasn't changed. So that's great. I would have chopped longer, uh, but this handle without any kind of handle on it, handle material on it, it's very uncomfortable to use. So that'll obviously be fixed in the finished product.